Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is shared data set in SSRS report? Data set represents the data returned by the query running on our data source. The shared data set is the data set that we can use in multiple reports. So let's go ahead and see why we even need to use a shared data set. So here I have created a report that is accepting a month name as a parameter. So once we preview it, we have to provide the month name. And as you all know that the parameter values can come as a static values or we can use a query. So think about that. This parameter, let me go back here and we have this month name parameter. I'm going to use the parameter properties here and then we can provide available values. The available values can be coming from static values or we can get from the query. I have a table here and uh, this is called report month. I can use that one and uh, this returns us all the months. So we can copy this query and bring it here and I can use uh, here so let's go back here. Let's create a new data set and using this query. So we can call it month name and we can use as the embedded. So this will be only available to this report. So this is one way to do it. And now we can go back to the parameter and say parameter properties, available values and here get from the query. So month name and get the month name here and we are all good. So let's Preview the report now and we have drop down for those for the month name parameter. We can select any value and it will return us the results. Now this is great, but if I have to use this month name uh, data set in a different reports. So every time I will be using the same query over and over in each of the report. So that that's called embedded data set because the scope of this data set is only to the current report but how about that i can create a shared data set for this one and i can call in any report so let's go ahead and we can create the shared data set here add new data set and we can call this one month name and if you would like you can put shared and uh, we are fine the data source it is using paste the query here and hit OK. Now let's delete this one now. and we can create the new one add data set and here you see that month name underscore shared is available now. So anytime we create a report this shared data set is going to be available for us to use if we need to. So we can click here and that's it. So that's how you will be using your shared data set in multiple reports. But now you see that what is happening here. We have a report two, and if we would like to deploy this report, we have to have deploy our month name shared data set on the report server as well. So let's go to properties here and we can see right here is my URL for report server and the data set folder we need to see that here is a folder called data sets as of now i do not have deployed anything uh, with the name data set so you can see there is no data set folder here once uh, we can go ahead and deploy it let's click here hit okay now if we go and deploy this i'm going to deploy that only the shared data set first uh, and you will see a new folder will be created and the data set will be deployed. So you can click right here and data set and name a month name underscore shared is available now. So you can if you click here you can see some property which your data source it is using and if there is any dependent item and all that we are not really concerned about this part. So this is available and this is great now we have to deploy our report so once we can go ahead and deploy our report this report is called a report 2 so i'm going to go to the sorry this report 2 and you see that here we can right click and deploy as well so you will see it is a deployed so now this report we can go ahead and take a look as well in the report server 
and it is deployed into the reports we can see the detail last modified date and we should see this report to here so if we run this report we'll see the data coming from the data source and it will be using our month name data set as well so as of now we let's see what happened with this report data source it is using a DS sales that's um, let's see what where is that data set so let's go to data sets and see if that's a point in the correct database yes that's fine and uh, now why it's not bringing the data let's take a look quickly we go to the reports let me see the properties of this uh, if uh, this is the folder where we deployed our report so yes that's where it is and our report name is report 2 so you can see here we are good we just need to figure that out uh, why the data is not displayed so first of all i would like to display the data here and make sure it is presenting so see that uh, in the definition of report to is invalid the report parameter refuses to use the month name because when we were making changes uh, I use uh, I dropped this data set and uh, recreated uh, by using the shared data set uh, so that's why we have to go back to the parameter and then we go to month uh, parameter properties and here in the available values uh, we have to reprovide so now we have a data set one that's the name of that and we have used the values we are all good here now it should be just fine and it's working and we can go ahead and redeploy so these all things are actually good uh, in a way like instead of just uh, I, I walk you through here we are figuring that out and uh, this really helps uh, in the debugging so now we are fine let's go back here and we can see now our report should work just fine and this is all the month names are coming uh, from the shared data set uh, that's already here on our server so that's uh, great if we would like to see more properties on this one uh, we can go to the report and uh, let's let me show you if you click here and go to manage you will see you have parameter you have uh, data sources which data source your report is using shared data sets uh, and you see which shared data set uh, your report is using now so if uh, one more time if there is a query store procedure anything that you feel uh, that can be used in uh, multiple reports and it's not going to change uh, sometimes we create master view and that can be used for maybe 10 reports uh, so you can create a shared data set for that one and uh, deploy to the server and use from there so uh, here in this uh, scenario i showed you how to use uh, from the SSDT SQL Server data tools and the same thing uh, can be done from the report builder so let's say if somebody is creating the reports uh, from the report builder and uh, they have the same option uh, to use the shared data sets uh, which are available on the report server so if this will open in just a second I'm going to show you real quick otherwise uh, okay so it, it is available let's click, create the blank report you are connected with the server here so it tells you which server you are connected right click add data source now we can select the data sources okay sales data set source is fine go to data sources add data so uh, sorry data sets and here use a shared data set so you see that once we browse it here we can browse the data sets and this that's available right here so we can use from there as well and this is how you will be using in the report builder and it's very common we do create shared data sources and shared data sets depending on the need and especially when it is repeating us the same query is going to be used multiple times for different reports it's a great idea to create the shared data sets and use it thanks very much for watching this video and i'm sorry for making this one a little long as error happened and we had to fix it and i will see you guys in the next video